Hey guys, the general consensus among investors and economists is that there's a recession coming. The question is, when? Now the great thing is that there are ways to prepare for it. Industry experts say that multifamily occupancy and returns will be fine in a recession. Today, we go into why the experts think this, and I'll give you my three reasons why multifamily makes sense for a recession-resistant investment. Now, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Augustino, and I am a real estate entrepreneur, syndicator, and investor. I like to share my stories, my lessons, and my advice from my journey in real estate, particularly multifamily real estate. And I enjoy helping others get into the business as well. I do that through the Bulletproof cash flow social media channels like this one here and through our coaching both online and in person Now if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead do that now and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing Also, I'd love to know who you are and what you're up to. So go ahead Say hi leave a comment and let's talk Now if you've gone through an economic crash, you may already know what? happens. You know, you got the rising prices, sharp rise in bankruptcy, high unemployment, it makes people want to stockpile cash, you know, and causes other people to panic. Now, the reason why is because there's no predictability. For those that went through the last crash, many of those people lost their entire savings. They still haven't recovered to this very day. You know, you need a safer instrument to protect yourself. You need something that is way more predictable. This means investing in the right asset classes. So, for instance, vacation homes were hit hard in the 2008 crash and even in previous recessions as well. Now, this is because in tough times, an owner of one of these properties, you know, they're going to make their payment on their primary residence before making the, the mortgage on a second home that they may use sparingly. It may be possible to do an Airbnb, but we haven't yet seen how those types of things fare in a recession. Uh, another example is like small retail. So you know, if a small business like an independent cafe or a bookstore or retail shop, something like that, you know, they, they have a hard time weathering an economic slowdown, you'll have a vacancy on your hands now. And then you know, depending on the location, some of those commercial places take, take a very long time to fill up. I mean, even in a good economy, they take a while to fill up. You know, this translates into no cash flow. And when there's no, no cash flow, it's not a good thing. Investing in cash producing real estate, specifically multifamily, is where many store their wealth. This is not only for the returns, but also for the tax benefits that, that come out of it as well. You know, people lose their houses or they lose their jobs. They need to rent to get back on their feet and um, you know, get their life back on track. So here's reason number one. People rent during a recession and they move into lower class rentals. Now, when we're talking about recession resistant multifamily though, we're not talking about class A, you know, those beautiful luxury places with the resort style pool and clubhouses and, and fitness centers and all that. You know, if anything, uh, class A right now is getting overbuilt and the rents are super high. So even today, there is so much competition in, uh, in, in that asset class that people are leaving their two-year-old class A properties to move to brand new class A properties. You know, in a downturn, these affluent residents may experience an economic hit and move down to a class B unit. You know, this is what happened in the previous recession and it's bound to happen again. According to economists at RealPage, they have seen owners of class A apartments just cut their rents, just keep on cutting, just to pull renters from class B properties as well. So this is something to keep an eye out for as an indicator as more of these high-end units are getting built up. So those of you out there, when you're tracking the rents, look to see how the rents are tracking too. You know, even with these weaknesses during good economic times, these class A's will find people to move into those units. You know, these new developments, are typically in upscale downtown markets where there's plenty of jobs, a lot of amenities and, and nightlife as well. So the major cities like New York, Chicago, or Miami, they're attractive places for great talent, something that employers need during any economic cycle. You know, but things will change in terms of income of the tenant profile if the slowdown hits or when the slowdown hits. You know, so this needs to be considered. Uh, and this is what makes class B and C properties recession resistant, right? The reason number two, P 
people losing their houses will move into a rental. No matter what happens in the economy, people always need a place to live. When there is an economic slowdown or a recession, people will tighten their belts. And those who are in class A will move down to a class B. Those who are in a class B will go down to a class C. You know, in the last recession, there was an explosion of foreclosures. You know, people needed those rentals because they either lost their homes or just walked away from them, which also shows how single families aren't necessarily a good investment because they would have not left them if they, if they were. The need for multifamily housing increased at that time. You know, this caused multifamily owners and the landlords to keep their rents where they were, you know, and keep their vacancies low as well. And reason number three, renting is already popular, even now. Many are foregoing home ownership and condo ownership for the convenience of living without a long-term commitment or a mortgage. While the home ownership rate is at its lowest point since the 1960s, people are migrating to apartment living. Many of these people are taking on all these property units, are Gen Zs and young millennials. You know, this group of people, they're, you know, they're, they're the up and coming workforce and they're looking for workforce housing. They opt for affordable class B and C properties close to their jobs and close to local amenities as well. If they want to leave their jobs, they can break their lease and move across the state for a new job. Needless to say, these B and C properties they'll always be the best play for multifamily rentals because these are less expensive units. They, they benefit during the strong demand in good economic times and in bad. So what's my strategy? There, these are the properties that my partners and I primarily focus on, these Bs and Cs. You know, class B and C properties will continue to perform through a cycle without the volatility and risk of a class A or even a class D. Uh, which we don't invest in at all. You know, these properties are usually referred to as workforce housing, the, B, the, the B's and C's, because it offers affordable housing to hardworking people that want a safe, nice place to live. You know, they want to raise their families, they want a place to call home. You know, these B and C units will rent anywhere from between $500 to $1,400 in the very high end, you know, depending on where the property is. You know, and in both cases, these People rely on employment income to live uh, and live from paycheck to paycheck. You know, for a breakdown of the different guy, cl classes of properties, uh, I created a guide to multifamily classifications. I'll include a link in the description. But our acquisition strategy is to control all aspects of the deal and to drive revenue and appreciation. We control the acquisition process, the renovation, and the property management. You know, through the due diligence process, our experience tells us what is likely to hit our financial targets. And because we are active in the market, we know how to execute on these deals as well. When we acquire and renovate a property, you know, we make improvements, we, we maximize revenue for that specific asset class. Through efficient management, we work to reduce delinquencies and and vacancies by improving the overall community as well. And we do that in a variety of ways. Over time, the assets that we invest in are worth much more than what we paid for them. And it hits that bottom line for us and of course for our investors. This strategy has mitigated risk and provides a track of record consistent returns while generating cash flow and returns for our investors. This will, this will matter a great deal when we are in the throes of a hard hit recession. So if you like my strategy, feel free to follow it on your own or just reach out to me and invest in one of our deals. Of course, you can also reach out and ask me more about the strategy and how we put it together. Anyway, what do you think? How are you preparing for the next crash? You know, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if there's a topic that you'd like for me to cover as well. And if you liked this content, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up and share it. Helps out uh, the channel, helps me out as well. Don't forget to check out our other social media channels. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when we get new videos out. And if you're looking for even more content or coaching, you can visit us at uh, the bulletproofcashflow.com website. We're working hard on getting new content to you guys every, every, every day. <laughs> so we're trying anyway. So uh, go out, be great guys and follow your dreams. Talk to you soon.